Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a foundation first impression on the new Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love the packaging of this. Like, it's a glass bottle. It's very heavy. It feels very expensive. So I'm super excited to try this out. I absolutely love drugstore foundation. I almost prefer drugstore foundation over high-end foundation. So if you would like to see a wear test and a review, please keep watching. So I have two shades here. The first one is in the shade LN4, and I figured if I really like this foundation, I would have a shade for when I'm more fair, and then I have the shade MN3. Three. So I believe this is light neutral four and medium neutral three. So I could use this now while I'm tan or I could like mix them together, like, you know, whatever. So I got two shades. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit about this foundation. So this foundation actually retails for $12.99. I got mine from Ulta, but I'm sure if you find it at Walmart, it'll be like a couple dollars cheaper. Um, this comes in 16 different shades, as you can see here. So on Ulta, it says the Healthy Foundation SPF of 20 by Physicians Formula is a long wearing, buildable and breathable foundation that provides lightweight, medium to full coverage with a healthy satin finish. Um, it says it's compatible with all skin types. It features the exclusive brightening complex and hyaluronic acid to hydrate, which I need, um, brighten and improve the appearance of skin tone. It says it has an added boost of vitamins A, C and E, provides a flawless, healthy coverage. I think I'm gonna I might mix the two because this one matches like my arms but my neck never gets tan so I think I might do like <sighs> two swipes of this and two swipes of this we'll see so as always I'm gonna do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge let's go ahead and prep my skin first I tried out the new well, I don't know if it's new but it's new to me it's the first aid beauty it's not glowing moisturizer. What's it called? Illuminating moisturizer. And, mm, I don't think I like it. Like it looks okay on the skin, but I feel like it's like chunky. But I feel like that's how most illuminating moisturizers are. So I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. It's such a mouthful. This is my favorite, all-time favorite primer. If you have dry skin, you need this. Like I feel like it's more hydrating than my primer. Or, this is a primer. I feel like it's more hydrating than my moisturizers. I feel like I need some like extra hydration. So I'm going to go on top of it with my Smashbox primer water. I'm almost out of this thing. All right. So let's see. I think. Does this have a wand? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah. So it does have like a giant doe foot as you can see here so let's see what this color looks like this is the oh this is the darkest one this is mn3 maybe i'll just i don't know i mean i feel like this looks okay but i guess i'll mix in the lighter shade too just for fun so now I'm going in with LN4. It kind of smells like paint. So I'm just going to go in between like... Okay, maybe I'm not going to use too much of this because this is really light. Ah. So that's what the two shades look like. I think the medium one is the best. So I'm gonna use my LA Girl sponge. This is my favorite sponge at the moment. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add any of the light one on the other side. Well, I guess I have to if I wanna look symmetrical. But I think I could get away with just the darker one. Like, I feel like it looks darker in the bottle. I'm not a big fan of the Dofa applicator, like, I'd rather have a pump, but that looks nice. It looks really smooth. So far, so good. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side and then use a brush, even though I don't want to add any of that light shade, but I have to, considering 
I did it on the other side. And I'm not a big fan of the Dofa either because I'm a huge germaphobe. Even though I'm only using it on myself, like just like putting it on my skin and then putting this thing back in the tube, I'm just like, mm, you know. So I'm just going to blend that side out with this Morphe G36. I'm not a big fan of brushes for foundation. Like I'm a spun girl all the way. Like, mm, I can already tell I don't like this with a brush. I mean, I feel like I got more coverage with the sponge. Mm. I guess I got the same amount of coverage with the sponge and the brush, from what I can tell it looks like, but you can still see that pimple thing right there. So I don't hate it. I like both sides but like I said I'm a sponge girl all the way so let's go ahead and add some more I'm not gonna add any more of that light shade I'm just gonna go back in with the darker shade and just build this up I'm not really seeing this as full coverage and I don't really like to build up foundations because I don't like to feel like it's heavy like on my skin so if I need to cover up stuff I just like use a concealer but I feel like I could even got like a darker shade of this. So back in with the sponge. I really like this foundation so far. I like the finish of it too. Like it's not super matte, but it's not like dewy either. So it is satin. To me it's more satin matte, but I like how it looks a lot. Yeah, I can definitely, this, every time I do a foundation first impression, and I know I love it, I wear it, like, for the next, like, couple of weeks. That's, like, my go-to foundation. This is going to be my go-to foundation. Like, I always know if I'm going to like it, seriously, like, the second it touches my face. Although, I feel like I could have got a darker shade, which is crazy. But, I love this. So, this is what my skin looks like. It looks so nice like I feel like I could keep layering it and maybe eventually get full coverage but like I said I don't like to feel like my skin feels heavy so but I would say this is like mm, medium coverage highlight medium mm, I think it's medium coverage and I have nails now if you can't tell I'm like ready for Halloween how cute is this shirt I got it from Misguided last year, but I, I didn't get a chance to wear it. And today we're going to Knott's Berry. And they do like a family, family friendly event like during the day. And then they close down and then they get ready for Not Scary Farm, which I'm not going to go to that. But I'm taking Jaden to um, Knott's Berry today because he's on a break. So I thought we would do something fun. So we decided to wear Halloween shirts and then I have my Halloween nails. I'm obsessed with this color. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead and go in with some concealer. I'm going to be using my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And since I can't put my finger in this, I'm just going to use my Morphe G45. I used to use this brush all the time for a concealer. I really like this under eye corrector. Well, I think my favorite is the Maybelline um, Age Rewind Brightener. I think it just like dries down completely. This is kind of like sticky, but I think they made this sticky because it's kind of like a concealer base, so it helps the concealer like stick to it, but I really like this. This one and the Maybelline one are my favorite. What concealer do I want to use? Um, I'm trying to use up this. This is the Maybelline Master Concealer in the shade Light Medium, so I'm gonna go in with this. This is another really good concealer too. I haven't had acrylics in such a long time. It's getting like, I have to like get used to it all over again. And then I'm just going to go in with that Morphe. I don't know if this is a concealer brush, but that's what I use it for. 
I feel like I always get the most coverage using a brush, but what's weird is like I feel like I can never blend out my nose concealer with a brush because it like takes it away. I don't know. It's weird. And then everything else with the sponge. You guys, I'm obsessed with the sponge. Like, it's my favorite. You need it. Ooh, this is a good foundation concealer combination too. I'm just gonna quickly contour my nose. I'm using the ColourPop Sculpting Stick in the shade New Renaissance. They do not sell this anymore, but I'm trying to use it up, so. I bought like a few of the Artiste brushes. I bought like a three set, I think, but this is the only one I use. I cannot stand the foundation brush. Like everybody seems to love it and I hate it. It just like, it doesn't blend out my foundation. It almost like steals it from my face. Like, I don't know. And I definitely think they're overpriced. Like if I could go back, I would not have bought them. It's really not that sticky, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it anyways because I'm gonna be like out and about all day today. So I'm gonna go in with my Cody Airspun. No, I'm not, because I wanna use this because it was expensive. This is the La Prairie Loose Powder. Like, look how much I have left, and this is the travel size. So when you buy this, it is expensive, but you get this travel size and then the big one. I've used this so many times, and I haven't even put a dit in the travel size, so I haven't even gotten in to, like, the giant size. Like, oh my god. This pimple, like, I swear, I never break out right here. I don't know where that came from. Ugh. But it's like, it won't let me pop it either. It's just, like, chilling. I like this powder because it doesn't mattify the foundation. It just kind of like sinks into the skin and makes it kind of like a silky. Makes it my skin feel like silk. My Cody Airspun kind of mattifies my foundation sometimes. So let's see. Let's set my under eyes. I'm just going to use my e.l.f. under eye powder. I hate this packaging. Like a brush does not fit in this. It's so frustrating. So I'm going to get out these creases. And I've been using this like KKW Beauty like dual sided brush just to like set right underneath and then I go back in with like a more dense powder brush and I just like push the product in even more. I will show you in a second. Um, I've been really liking this. I think this would be really good to blend out concealer too. I just haven't tried it for that yet. This is the Morphe M536. So then I just like to go in with this and just press that under eye powder in even more. So this is what my skin looks like with foundation, concealer, and powder. It looks really nice. I'm telling you guys, like, this is going to be my new favorite go-to foundation for now. Can you guys hear her? She's deaf if you're new to my channel. <laughs> so she like yodels when she meows. She doesn't meow like a normal cat. It's crazy. Um, so the time is 1046. So I'm going to go ahead and make 945 the call time. I'm going to finish up my makeup and then I will come back and let you guys know how it went. So it is 1010 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys everything that I have on my face. So for bronzer, I don't think I like this. Like, I feel like when I first bought it, I liked it, but now I don't really. This is the Morphe bronzer book. I just kind of took like a mixture of shades. Like I feel like this would be better for like an eyeshadow. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of like the colors are like weird and I feel like it's kind of like muddy <gasps> looking on the skin. Ooh, my setting spray like messed up my makeup. Ugh. Anyway, so I use that. For blush, I use this Milani Coral Cove. I used my Too Faced Brow Envy book for my brows. I used the Anastasia Times Nicole Guerrero, Guerrero Glow Kit. And I just took a mixture of these two. It is Glow Getter in 143. I love Nicole Guerrero. Like, she's one of my favorite, like, YouTubers to watch. But, like, this to me is, like, chunky and glittery. I, like, never really reached for it. But today I decided that I would and... 
I don't know. It's just like not for me. Um, what else? On my lips, I have MAC Whirl Lip Liner. I haven't used that in a hot minute. Then I have this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dreamer. I believe this is the sh this is like the exact lip combo minus the lip liner. But I used a lip liner similar that I wore for my wedding day, and this thing stayed on from like eight in the morning till like two o'clock in the morning. Like these things are no joke. But I do feel like it takes a little while for them to completely dry down. But hey. This is the first time I've seen my real lashes since the beginning of July because I had lash extensions and like I don't remember my lashes being so like short and stubby so I think the lash extensions kind of like ruined them a little bit but I did buy some castor oil so hopefully that will help make them grow but then I'm getting lash extensions put back on like November 2nd because I'm going to New York and I want to just you know look all glamorous and stuff but I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara as much as I love like the container with like the water droplets and I just like how it looks. I don't like this mascara. Um, and then I just layered it with this Rimmel Lash Accelerator. It says it has a Grow Lash Complex and I need that right now. So, <laughs> uh, then I just put a nude liner on my waterline. What else did I use? I think that's it. And then I just took, um, my Kylie bronze palette and just like a random brown shade in there and ran that underneath my lash line. So to set my makeup, leaving this highlighter is leaving like a shadow right there Ooh, oh my god I'm a mess um then I sprayed my face with my MAC fix plus I really like this especially if I'm using a lot of powders it just melts all the powders into my skin and then to set my makeup um I don't know how I feel about this but this is the project beauty spray set go makeup setting spray I'm just like meh whatever um anyways so that's everything on my face everything went on really nice except for that morphe bronzer book I really like that thing. So I will see you guys here in my next check-in. That's going to be at Knott's. Gosh, I always feel so awkward, like, talking to the camera in front of people. But maybe I can, like, sneak off to a corner and show you guys my makeup. So that way you can see what it looks like in natural light. I'm going to keep this foundation on until I get home. So the park closes at 5.30. I'll probably get home at, like, 7.30. I'll probably hit traffic, so, like, 8. So I will see you guys uh, for a final check-in around the evening time. So that means this foundation would have been on for 10 hours. That's pretty good, right? Anyways, okay, I will stop rambling and I will see you guys here. Hey guys, so I'm here doing a 1.30 check-in. So I've had this foundation on for three and a half hours, I think. Why can I never remember? But it still looks really good and I've been on like five rides. I feel so weird talking to myself in front of all these people. But anyways, we're still doing Hey guys, so it is eight o'clock. So I've had this foundation on for... 10 hours and like 15 minutes or something like that. So we went to Knott's Berry. We got on like all the rides. I was sweating. I was crying on the roller coasters and everything still looks really good. I could powder like right here, but I'm not going anywhere and it's been on for 10 hours. So it's fine. But I think it looks really good still. Like I'm for sure going to be using this foundation probably every day for the next like two weeks. That's what I always do when I try one out and I love it. I use it for like two weeks straight. Like, I really like it. The only thing that is kind of weird to me is I just don't feel like MN3, so medium neutral three, is all that dark. So this shade right here, LN4, so light neutral four, I think is gonna be perfect for when I've lost my tan like completely. I'm not a big fan of the applicator. Um, I don't feel like you get a lot of product on the applicator, so I feel like you'd have to keep dipping in and out to get, like, full coverage. But other than that, I really, really like it. And if you have dry to normal skin, more so dry, that's what I always say, um, I would definitely check this out. Um, I usually like dewy foundations. I'm not a big fan of matte foundations. But this is, like, a satin matte, even though it says satin. But I feel like with whatever primer you used underneath would help. So if you wanted this to be more matte, then use a matte primer. I used a super moisturizing primer underneath this, so it made it more like satiny finish. Um, so yeah, anyways, let me know if you guys have tried this foundation in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this foundation first impression, and please subscribe on your way out if you'd like to see more of me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.